Thank you, uh, Matthew, for coming to our caravan. Uh, I'm Linda, Linda Carter, Jim's down the other end. <laughs> and we have lived here for four and a half years in Aumakaroa and have become involved with the community church and absolutely regard it as part of our family. And I approached Matthew yesterday because I've had a few things on my mind, a few gaps, filling in the gaps. We really want to get to heaven. We're working to get to heaven. We know the glory of being with our Lord in heaven. But it's filling the gap in between. And over the years that I've worked in pastoral care, I've met a lot of older people who have given up their faith. They have seen their families lose their faith or not have any faith and they themselves have turned away from God with the waiting and the expectation. So I just felt well, the time had come for me to fire these questions at Matthew and if he can fill in some of the gaps. The preparation that we need before entering uh, the Kingdom of God how do we strengthen our faith while waiting, waiting to die? The lineup of us all waiting to die. We certainly seem to be living a lot longer. Uh, a lot of us have injuries and illnesses which we're trying hard to cope with. But then God never gives us more injuries than we can actually cope with. It's it's in his time. It is actually in his time. But there seems to be a huge number of older people just waiting, just waiting for the next step in their lives. Jim and I, as I said to Matthew, we've been married for 20 years. Jim's late wife, um, they were married 48 years, Jim, wasn't it? I don't think you heard that one, Jim. You were married 48 years. You and Diane were ma yeah. married for 48 years. And I came through a divorce. <laughs> and I had to have counselling. And I worked with a lot of women who were bitter and angry. And where we lived, I f we had the saints. They were the widows. And they had their group. And I started the sinners, all the divorced people. And we worked together, but as I said, the divorce, lots of divorce people were very bitter, very angry and bitter. It was getting, was getting rid of that and working together, and it was, it was a lot of fun. And we, Jim and I, before we got married, we discussed the business of entering heaven, entering as individuals, and we've had, we've had a, a fabulous life together absolutely special uh, and how do we as older people spread our faith to the younger generation our churches are full of old people but then when we were young there were still old people in churches so we just need to encourage the old people to have the strength and the faith and if the other thing that I wanted to share our generation was extremely lucky. We had budgeting, we had cooking classes at school, we didn't seem to have the temptations that the young ones have today. Certainly no drugs or cell phones or anything. I think we were privileged and now it's our time to give back to the community. Um, and looking after one another I think one of the, the things with us is, as Christians, pride is our great downfall. You ask anybody in the church if they're fine, they'll say they're fine. If they need any food, oh no, 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 I'm fine. We are not very good at asking for help or asking for food. And we give us, we'll give, it, we'll give as much as possible, but I don't think we are good as Christians as accepting gifts from other people. And I think that sort of sums up in, the, in a nutshell. Can I just say, give this little prayer? 
please. Bountiful God, we pray for the welfare of this community, for the hungry, the homeless, the unemployed, and the excluded, for our families, our friends, our neighbours, and ourselves. We remember with gratitude all who give their lives to bring understanding, care, and encouragement to others, and all whose contribution to society are not valued. May we also give our time, our talents, and our wealth in your service. Giver of love, for all your good gifts to us, we give you thanks and praise. Amen. Am I allowed to ask what your age is? 82. 82. <laughs> and uh, still going so strong. And, and yes, so we've got a lot of older people who want to go to heaven, but it's almost like, God, why haven't you taken me yet? So we've got to inspire people. Well, God hasn't taken you because he hasn't finished with you yet. He's still got something great to do in your lives to complete God's will for your life. So thank you for your concern, your love for mm. some mm. of the other older ones that mm. you see mm. who might be struggling. Mm. And we want to speak hope and the strength that comes from that personal friendship with God. So, yeah, thanks for your prayer as well. And we want to continue praying for those who are older, that they will finish well, that their friendship mm. with God will become mm. stronger and when the right time comes for them to go to heaven, they mm. will hear the words, well done, good and faithful, faithful servant. servant. So we just encourage everyone to aim for that. Aim mm. to be good, faithful, and a servant of Jesus. Mm. God bless you.